There are lots of public pools around the area, but many of them remain closed, largely due to a nationwide shortage of lifeguards. Our Taylor Pollock on your side tonight with how one Parks and Rec Department actually managed to fully staff its pools this summer. Taylor? Yeah, that's right. If you want to work as a lifeguard at Homewood Public Pools, you can make up to 14 50 an hour and you only have to be 15. And for some, that may sound like a bold adjustment, but I spoke with one supervisor to see how these changes have been working out so far. We've dropped our age down this year to 15 um, and used to uh, the lifeguards are responsible for their certification uh, paying for that and now we're paying for it. This is how Jacob Stevens has fully staffed Homewood's two public pools. It's a stiff competition between local parks and rec departments, country clubs and YMCA's on who can sweeten the deal for lifeguards the most. They have been going through the exact same training through the Red Cross, um, so that, none of that's changed. It's still the same requirements. Um, it's a week-long course of, I think it's 20 hours they go through. Um, we do in-service uh, a couple times a month, uh, just keeping their uh, skills up to date. Is there a difference in performance? Older peers don't seem to think so when it comes to younger guards. They're pretty good. Some of them are more mature than others, but they definitely met my expectations. And Steven says he's taking every step he can to ensure safety. Well, we've got some lifeguards that have been lifeguards for 20 years of their life, so we've got them more of in a management role. Uh, that kind of helps us with that 15, 16 year old age group, um, just kind of keeps them on track. So everyone has an enjoyable experience. Now we have younger kids. I think it'll be good for them to like, you know, start to learn how to like be accountable for things like that. And I think it's be a good job for them to have in the summer. It pays pretty nice, I'd say at least. And Stevens tells me about half of his guards are in the 16 to 17 year old range. And as for the city of Birmingham, I did reach out to them. Officials did confirm that they're opening up the Martin Luther King Jr. Pool this weekend. That makes it the third of 16 run by the city of Birmingham that will be open. Well, Stephen Lauren.